As soon as children enter the world, they start hearing sounds and they start seeing things and they start engaging and interacting. About a million neurons per second are developed in a child's brain from the time that they are born until about the time they're three. The quality of those experiences and the quality of relationships matters, particularly at those very, very early stages. Study after study has shown that there are immeasurable benefits to a quality early childhood environment. GEARS is the Georgia Early Education Alliance for Ready Students. We are an independent nonprofit. Our goal is really to elevate the issue of the importance of children birth to five to policymakers, to community leaders, to funders to the public. We talk about serve and return a lot in our work, and that's a child saying something, interacting with an adult, and then when that adult responds back, that's the return. So think of it as like a tennis match where you're serving something and the baby is returning it to you and vice versa. So my name is Joyce, and I'm the this is my oldest, she's Alice, and she's two. And she has a brother, what's his name? Noah. It's Noah, and Noah is six months old. So as an educator who works with middle school students um, and high school students, I have a better appreciation of what happens behind the scenes in classrooms and just understanding child and student development. It's been very helpful for me to apply some of the strategies that I've been using in my classroom, especially using thinking routines and just helping understand what her thoughts are and try to extract them, making her thinking visible to me. Can you give Noah a big old hug? That's the hug. Does Noah love his sister? Yeah. Yeah. Noah, who's this? Right. Is she giving you the tickle tickles? Yeah. Is that your yoga pose? That you're stretch? So I know that teachers um, have a lot of information and valuable information, so I try to partner with her teachers as much as possible to find out what do I need to do for her and how can I support her. Her teachers post a lot of videos of her in the classroom so I can observe her singing and dancing and I get to see what kind of personality she has. I've been learning a lot. I don't know how to work really well with younger children like her age group, but I'm learning. So I've been trying to partner and use the resources at my disposal. You know, in many ways it's difficult to sort of quantify how early childhood education has changed over the years, but one thing that has changed is the way that we evaluate the quality of early learning programs. Ten years ago, aside from accreditation through entities like the National Association for the Education of Young Children, there wasn't really a whole lot going on. That has changed over the last several years as Georgia has implemented its quality rating and improvement system called Quality Rated. The quality rating system gives different providers a one, two, or three star rating based on their level of quality and their different metrics that go into that. We know that children are often in out of home experiences for many, many hours of the day, many of their waking hours, so we know that great relationships with engaged, nurturing caregivers can make a huge difference on a child's life. You want a new name song? Yeah. yeah. So we know there are a couple of factors that may prevent families and children from accessing high quality early learning. The first being accessibility and the second being affordability. So we often talk about food deserts and in the same way there are many childcare deserts across the state of Georgia. And second, we know that high quality early learning is expensive. It's especially expensive um, for infants and toddlers, and we know that that is a burden that many families face. So there are some programs to help families. There's a child care subsidy program in the state of Georgia for low-income working families. In Georgia, we have a 25-year-old history of Georgia Pre-K, which is our lottery-funded program for four-year-olds, and it is available at public schools around the state and through private early education programs. The challenge right now is we don't have similar programs or similar funding streams for infants and toddlers. Finding a high quality center uh, for education for a young child is, was very challenging. The younger they are, I think the harder it is to find a place for them to be educated, not just well taken care of, you also want them to be really thinking of her as an individual. And so trying to figure out how to make 
those experiences accessible for children of those ages is trickier. One way is by ensuring that every program has some level of quality, either that they're participating in the quality rating and improvement program, that their teachers are trained and respected. Another way is to try to spread other tools that we have developed or that have been developed around the country. Early education provides an equal playing field for people to have the best possible future. And I think that's so important, not only for equity issues, but also for children who start off, you know, in situations in life that they can't control, like trauma or neglect and abuse. You can spread the word about early childhood education by first thinking about your own experiences with child care or the experiences of other individuals who you know, and then become knowledgeable about the landscape of early care and learning in your area. There are great apps for parents. One's called Vroom, and it's free and available for parents of little kids, and they get a daily reminder of things they can do at home with their child. There is a large and growing body of research that points to the importance of children's experiences in their early years. As a parent and as a former elementary educator, I know the importance. I've experienced it firsthand. It's really important that kids can have that strong foundation, that early experience that paves the way for the rest of their lives, that changes their life.